my beloveds. <laughs> Here I am again. The part of you who is Astarius Miraculi. And today I am here to woo your awareness into alignment with your eternal blessings. The subject is from longing to belonging. So often in life, when there are things that we want, to come about for us, we engage in the attempt to get those things by longing for them. To long for anything is in defiance of the law of attraction. Because when you're longing for something, you're giving way more attention to not having that reality that you really want. And so you're not magnetic to attract it to you. You don't want to long for bliss. You don't need to long for bliss because you belong to bliss and bliss belongs to you. There is a oneness of wholeness of you and bliss. You don't need to long for peace because you belong to peace. And peace belongs to you. You don't need to long for relationship. Because relationship belongs to you. And you belong to relationship. In order to truly be empowered by these principles about which I am speaking to you today. You have to move beyond the confines of limited awareness of physicality and materiality. Physicality is beautiful. Materiality is beautiful. We are physical beings and we're meant to materially flourish. And yet in order to materially flourish, and physically flourish, we must recognize that physicality and materiality represents the second stage of reality, the second stage of creation. And so, if you want peace, in the realm of the first stage of creation, it's already done. The first stage of creation is that which vibrates to the rhythm of eternity. As the second stage of creation vibrates to the rhythm of time. Things of time have an expiration date. Things of eternity have an eternal life expand. Not a lifespan, but an eternal life expand. You know, one of the things that there tends to be a great deal of longing about is relationship. And God knows I know this piece because I love the dance of relationship. I love the, the juice of you know, being in benevolent relationship with the goddess. And I love the vulnerability of my heart, the sacred vulnerability of my heart that knows the splendor of surrender and how to serve and empower the goddess and to give of myself in ways that are not common to most men because we are quite often out of touch with vulnerability and intimacy. And I once upon a time was also and had to learn to, to be that. And so as I have been calling forth this wonderful relationship of goddess in a body to walk along with me and to share this spiritual work with me the greater power in all of this is for me to stand in the knowingness that never has there been a time when I have not been in a relationship never again will I say I'm not in a relationship. 
even if the proximity of a body is not right before me, I am always in relationship. Because relationship is an intangible frequency that exists in the bosom of eternity. And so I am always in relationship. And you are always in relationship. And so we want to engage in the wisdom of knowing that relationship always belongs to us and we belong to it. And so we don't need to long for it. The law of attraction says things come together to reveal one another to each other. And a mirror cannot show you a reflection that is not your own. You know, you, you just can't get a mirror to show you what you are not first in the resonance of. And that's how the law of attraction works. You become the mirrored reflection of the reality that you want, and the law of attraction reflects it back unto you. So if you want to be loved, then you want to be about fully and completely loving yourself. Don't long for love, but know that love belongs to you, and you belong to love. We're moving from longing to belonging. Anything that you could possibly want in your life has already been given you. You're pregnant with every blessing that will ever come to be. It's an embryo within your soul, even though your human eyes have yet to see. That's what I have learned for myself. In the... In the the womb of my soul exists this great dance of relationship that is yet to crystallize in a body. But I don't need it to crystallize in a body in order to feel the joy of it. Just like when some wonderful beloved is coming to see you and maybe you've not seen them for a very long period of time. Maybe they're coming in a couple few weeks. And even though they haven't physically arrived yet, because you are in the knowingness of their coming, you already enter into the experience of being in the dance of being with them. And your heart is leaping on flames of joy in sacred anticipation. That anticipation is also its own reality. And you experience them even before they show up in a body. So it is with the beloved that you're calling into being. I used to say to my beloved, I call you forth in the name of every sacred love dance throughout eternity. And now I say, I allow you forth in the name of every sacred love dance throughout eternity. Because whatever realities we want in life do exist already and therefore we don't have to invoke or coerce them, but rather simply to allow them into being. That's why in the creation story, upon the creation of the universe, you hear the language of God saying, let there be light and let us make man in our own image, in our own likeness which is to allow that reality to come into crystallization that already exists in the intangible womb of the universe, the first stage of creation. It's already done. You don't need to long for it. Learn to appreciate the intangibility of reality. The intangible reality is even greater. The intangible reality is the parent as the tangible reality is the offspring. The tangible reality is the cause. Excuse me, the intangible reality is the cause as the tangible reality is the effect. 
And so we want to move from longing to belonging. See it, beloved. Feel it. Now, as you look through or look around the world and you look around the universe and you see others who have that which you want to accumulate for yourself, allow yourself to belong to that which you are witnessing and recognize that that which you are witnessing belongs to you by extension. Because all of the joy that you are witnessing that may be passing between two beloveds that you want to be an experience of your own, that juicy frequency of fulfillment can easily be jump-started into your own reality. This is the soul jump-start. But you must feel a sense of oneness with the juicy fulfillment that you're witnessing in life, even though it may not be an individual reality for you. It is a individual reality for you. Because you, above and beyond being an individual expression of selfhood, you are a universal expression of selfhood. You have a individuality. And all of the bliss that you witness in life, and all of the happiness that you witness in life, and all of the fulfillment that you witness in life is yours by extension. So when you see others having it, don't long for it. Belong to it. And know that it belongs to you. From longing to belonging. And as you come into this awareness and you resonate with this joy because you don't need the external manifestations in order to feel joy and God knows I know that because I am absolutely riding the bliss wave and even though my beloved has yet to show up in a body she lives inside my body and I'm keeping her warm until she shows up in a body yet without longing for her but belonging to her, knowing that she belongs to me because, because we are one in the same reality. Sometimes I lay down at night and I lay down with her and I feel that delicious feeling and fulfillment of the delight that relationship has to offer from longing to belonging. And as we resonate with that resonance of belonging and the already havingness of what we're calling forth and producing the feeling of it, you know, see what is needed that your prayer might be heeded. Feel what is needed that your prayer might be heeded. See it and feel it as though you've already succeeded. Have faith in advance. Let good be left not up to chance. For if faith be post-dated, then your blessings are belated. And when your good you detain, the whole world bears the strain. Invoke the spirit of fire. Purge the enemy of your desire. Make the wise decision to maximize your vision. You see, you must believe it in order to see it. Not wait until you see it to believe it. Believing is seeing. Not seeing is believing. Believing is seeing. The joy is yours. The love is yours. Right now, not tomorrow. Right now. If there were moments of sadness in your past and you feel this wonderful alignment, send the resonance of this alignment to those painful moments of the past, which then erases the negative emotional charge on those moments and you are able to remember the painful past in a passive way. 
life is so beautiful. Life is so divine. Life is so delicious. Feel it with me. Let us right now align with the oneness of the wholeness of all of the happiness that is, was, or ever will be. I love you so much. I am Astarius Miraculi. My website is Astarius.com. A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com. Please subscribe to my channel, partake of my videos, I have more than 90 of them now. So whenever you go to my channel, click on channel, so you go to the channel and then videos and then everything becomes available to you. And go to my site and partake of my CDs and books and all of the wonderful things that I have available for you. And I also do psychic astrology readings and Reiki trainings and didgeridoo sound healings and all of that information is available via my site astarius.com A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S dot com I want you to love on yourself give yourself a great big hug pinch yourself on all four cheeks top and bottom cheekaboo <laughs> oh ho I say, Amen, Namaste, Hotep, in Lakesh, Alakin, Shalom, Satnam, Hariom.